Very good question. The question is that uh, we explain the benefits to the community by going to Spectrum. What are the benefits to Spectrum for Macosta County joining their their family? So you, you want to answer that, John? You want me to take it? Well, there certainly the first is a market presence. With the new health care reform, it's going to be very important to be able to do capitated care. And what we're looking at is how do we do that and take care of the population. So we're looking at the population and help how we do that. And you, to do that, you have to have a critical mass of uh, physicians and hospitals. So that, that's probably the biggest thing that will, will uh, assist us is the market presence. I think also they still want to continue to get all our business. Let's be honest. Meyer Heart Center doesn't exist unless all the outlying hospitals send their cardiacs to Meyer Heart. There's not enough people in Grand Rapids to just supply that. They need our pipelines. They need Gerber's, Greenville's, Big Rapids, Zealand, all feeding that, those huge centers, DeVos Children's. It takes a lot of volume to feed them. And if, if, they're, if they own us, probably we're going to feed them more than we'll send people to Ann Arbor. And I, I, I think that's got to be one of the reasons they want us. Because right now, we give all our hearts there, all our high-risk OB there, all our GI there. They want to continue that. They don't want us to start shuffling it some other way with a helicopter or some other device. The whole healthcare business is, is kind of a, a referral business in a, in a large sense. You've got to have the doctors to refer the patients to the hospital, and you need a, a, a local hospital to have a place to send the, the things that it can't handle, just to keep a constant cycle of exchange. Uh, there are ways to to see who their what insurance they're going to cover. I understand now that they don't take United Health Care plan. Um, we've right? got a running list. I don't know if United is on that list or not, but that, just to be specific, the, there are some insurances that are accepted in Lacosta County at, at the hospital because it affects people that live around us that may not be uh, participated with at Spectrum. doesn't mean that you can't go there and get the service because you can. There may be a higher out-of-pocket deductible co-payment or something. This has actually come up in every meeting and we're we're looking at this now. Put it online. The hospitals so we don't have weird turnover. Yeah. Well, well the hospitals make their own contracts. Right. So that's, they understand that's what Spectrum made Spectrum did make the statement that the decision of which insurances to accept was the past accounting. In other words, if there was a particular um, <laughs> Uh, a Medicare supplement that Spectrum didn't accept, but Macosta County did, and Spectrum said that would still remain Macosta County's decision. However, if you ended up going down to Spectrum for advanced care, then of course you're just like you are now. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Yes, ma'am. I just would like to clarify, except and participate are two different things. You can get treatment wherever you go. Everyone will accept you as a patient. Participation means if you go to a non-participating facility, then you, you may have higher out-of-pocket costs. That's what that means. Well, you can still get the care. Yeah. <laughs> I think the other, the other thing we need to understand is the number of uh, insurances that are not accepted is very, very small. We, do not ex we accept regular Medicare. We accept regular Medicare Blue Cross supplement. We do not accept the Blue Cross Advantage product. We do not expect to select the Secure Horizons Advantage product. But for the most part, that's about 4,000 people in the whole uh, this whole area. It's not, uh, and I mean, not in this area, in the whole 13 county area. So we, uh, so those are the only things we do not uh, take right now. And the rest of them uh, we do, and we will evaluate this every year to decide what is the best business approach to take. The question was. When you refer to the assets staying in the community, what exactly does that mean? Right. And the short answer is the physical plant, yes, would remain where it is, and the monetary assets, yes, would remain with the hospital. Okay, but you specifically said current assets. What if you're, you were able to generate more profit, monetary profit? Will that still, as future, will that stay in the community? The short answer is yes. Dr. Gunther's answered this many times. If you want to address it, Fred. Yeah, 
it's, it's taken us 25 years to build up that $7 million funded depreciation. And one of the questions we have for Spectrum right away is, well, you're going to pay off our $8 million, but then you'll take our $7 million funded depreciation, so you get us for about nothing. That's not the case. The $7 million will stay local. The profits that we make go into funded depreciation, and they will stay local to be used on local uh, projects. That, was, that will be in the agreement that's signed if it's signed. Can now, the building is worth probably, what do we figure it's worth, Joe, 40 million? Spectrum is not interested in giving us 40 million dollars for that physical asset. They don't buy hospitals. And that came out in the first two negotiations we had. If you expect us to buy the facility, they can't do that and they won't do that. They can pay off our bond issue, but they don't buy our physical assets. 